Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Inscription, a psychological horror slash roguelike card game uh, developed by Daniel Mullins, who you may know from Pony Island and The Hex, and published by Devolver Digital. I have been incredibly interested in this game. I'm not a big horror guy, but the style of this seems super up my alley anyways. It seems bizarre and I can't quite put my finger on what it's going to be and that's why I'm incredibly excited to say we are going to be checking out the demo here today to figure out what the heck this is oh my goodness just the, the art style gripped me like hey, crazy first to figure out what's on this thing. Inscription. Okay. I mean, I get it. We're on a CRT. Okay. W new game conti continue. Interesting. All right. Okay. I'm already, I'm already intrigued by the fact that we cannot start a new game and we can only continue. Okay. <laughs> Do we find a, uh, a cursed N64 cartridge, a cursed copy of uh, Majora's Mask? Ah, uh, hello there. Hello there, eyes. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Okay. Now play your stoat. Okay. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. The squirrel is shaken in fear. Uh. An honorable death. Play the stoat. My god. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Okay. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number in the bottom left is the attack power. One, okay. Yep, yep, yep. That's straightforward enough. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. Okay, two damage, one health. I mean... My co coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. The creature's health reaches zero. It dies. Okay, it's your turn again. You may draw... Okay, you may draw from your deck or you may draw a squirrel. Okay, draw from the deck or we can guaranteed draw ourselves a squirrel. Interesting. How reckless of you. Yep. Correct. Because now I can't really do anything, right? You are lacking sacrifices for any of these creatures. It wanted me to draw squirrels. Oh. Hello. Oh my god. Look at my fingernails. Look at my twitching there. Even the cards, the way they're moving. I mean, I'm assuming we can't do anything. But I would also assume that my stoat is going to attack... Also, he's breathing? He's breathing. Because you are learning, I will pass. You've drawn all the creatures from your deck. A squirrel is your only choice. I mean, I can't do anything else. Uh, so I'll drop that down, and then I guess we just... I end my turn. Done one damage, so I put one weight on the scale. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? I mean... I figured as much... But I needed to need a squirrel, man. River snapper or wolf? I mean, let's go aggro. Sacrifice, sacrifice. I'm guessing we could have sacrificed the stoat. I didn't want to sacrifice the stoat, though, because it seems like we're just kind of allowed. Oh my god. Look at them cower in fear. 
I'm like extra concerned about the stoke because it looks like he's alive. You know what I'm saying? And I have a sneaking suspicion. Like on the Steam page, it says that there's also escape room, escape room elements. Uh, <laughs> into in a blood laced smoothie is is I believe is something that was also uh, on the Steam page. So I'm concerned that this is probably not going to be the only deal here. They won't all be so easy. Fair enough. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm assuming in the future we'll get the option to go to multiple places there. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite, is always lethal. You may only grace... You... Only one may grace your paltry deck. I'll do the... I'll do the many... Many lives. Give me that, cat. Now the creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. What? Three is as much as you can carry. What? There's a pliers. We got a pliers. We can literally just like... What? I... Okay. We'll find out. We'll, we'll figure it out. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You didn't sacrifice me? How kind. Maybe. Maybe you'll help me? Play along for now. Oh my god. Hello? Play along for now. Okay. We got here. We have boulders, which I can only imagine they're just like kind of standing in our way. We got this coming here. Can I see? Can I see this? Oh, okay. I can I can look up even further. So it's a wolf cub with fledgling. A card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Okay. All right. So the cat does require a blood sacrifice. Cannot draw a card on your first turn. Okay, just making sure. Put down the squirrel, and then we'll sacrifice it to summon our cat. Uh, which is just going to be an undying sacrificial deal. And then I guess we could sacrifice it for our stoat. Here we go. I mean, I'm a little concerned. He is definitely alive. Okay, there's nothing else we can do. I don't- I, I can't sacrifice my stoat. He's clearly living. He is a, clearly a sentient card. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Definitely gonna draw herself a squirrel there. Drop that down there, and... Yeah, so this is gonna make it through the boulder, and then I don't know if there's gonna be a chance for us to do anything about it. Sorry, squirrel. I don't know. I feel like they might put us in a situation where we're going to be forced to sacrifice our stoat. I got a sneaking suspicion. Airborne bat flies over other creatures to attack directly. Oh, you jerk. Ha, my blah, 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 blah. Bat flew right over your stoat. So he knew. He knew that, that, I, that I had the stoat there. Okay. Wolf. If I sacrifice that, would it be, like, good enough on its own? The stoat should kill the bat, at the very least. You know what? What if we just waited? Like, I kind of want to see what happens if the wolf kills this. It's not going to, like, move down or anything. Will it, will it block all of the damage? It looks like it. Okay, I'll take a squirrel. Drop down the squirrel. Really just to do a sacrifice so we can... Knock out the other wolf. We should be fine here, right? Yeah. It's all good. Uh, 
I mean, I guess I'll take this wolf card here. Hello. Are you alive? Is the stoat really, like, now my question is, is the stoat the only one that's alive or is it the only one that's really letting me know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloodied terrain. Okay. The meek sparrow and an expensive, if feeble, flying creature. The young wolf cub, it grows into a wolf after a single turn. So it costs only one blood sacrifice, but then it turns into a wolf. It's pretty good, pretty good. So I feel like that might be more... Well, maybe the sparrow will help me if there's, like, rocks and stuff. What else we got? You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice. One that would be lost forever. Oh, God. Well, I guess I'll sacrifice the sparrow. The cat seems a little too useful. Pick me. You looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. I mean, you want to be pe I mean, fine. Are you going to be secretly the enemy? <laughs> what an honor. Oh! He's, he's got his soul! He can fly now? A ghastly spectacle. But the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stoat. Okay. I have a flying stoat. I'm, I'm fine with that choice then. Behold my totem. It ins inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Uh-huh. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough! Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Oh my god. Okay, so that coyote is coming in. Coming in hot. All right, how do we how do we play this? They both do two damage. We don't have anything. You know what? No drawing on the first turn. I was hoping we could get our like our tortoise. Like we can obviously do damage this first turn. I'm gonna even pop. I'm gonna pop my squirrel in the bottle. He's a cheater. I'm gonna get myself a wolf down for free free three damage. Why not? Okay. My totem granted my coyote the power of flight. Wait, oh, so they, they move down and they get to attack on that first turn. I see, I see. Alright, um... We'll grab this squirrel. Doesn't matter. We'll drop down with sacrifice and we'll get the stout. Back on the board. Uh-huh. So, I feel like... The, so this pliers, it said something about, like, shifting the scales back in my favor, I think. You're two damage away from winning. So we need to we need to be ahead by a certain amount. Is that the deal though? We have the wolf. What am I looking for? What do I hope to get? There's a fly, there's a wolf cub, a flying wolf cub, okay. Um I could do this and get the squirrel in the bottle and I can drop down my wolf. Then we'd be fine. If we, are we really two away from winning still, though? That's my question. Like, because it's a scale; it goes back and forth. They they picked a scale on purpose, I assume, right? Because we gotta win by a, a certain amount. We got tennis rules up in here, I'm assuming. I was hoping for the cat. I was just hoping for the cat. I mean, I think we're fine, anyways, aren't we? That or we're going to die right now, which is maybe fine. Do we just win it? Don't we? No, we don't. How do I... Yeah, how do I see the scale? I. That's one thing. I, I can see it kind of from here. It's tough to tell exactly how far away we are from dying. Alright. 
So he, the fly, oh, that's right. The flying went right over my flying. You got two, you got your wolf cub. You're going to turn into the other one, I assume, next turn. So we'll go for this. We'll drop this down and sacrifice. Because I don't want to, I don't want to die. So if we kill this now, it'll turn into a, before it turns into the three. I think that's going to be the good call. Sacrifice, free three damage over there. So why are you not... Oh, so the stone is flying over this to attack directly, and it's not doing... Okay. Gotcha. So it, it flies over them, and it... Yeah, okay. It just it skips trying to attack them. So we have a flying and a flying, so there's no way to even ever stop this situation, I guess, right now. Unless we sacrificed our stone, which I'm not going to do because he's clearly alive. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Squirrel. Sacrifice, sacrifice. Wait. Why can't I... Oh, there we go. Fear not the beast is sacrificed but not removed from your deck. Why is my hand like this? Huh? Okay. Yeah, now with all the flying, we got a little bit more of a concern. There's our freaking cat. Yeah, I don't want to sacrifice my stoat here. We're going to at least, theoretically, we'll kill the coyote, and then we should be fine to win this no matter what. Like, we should win this no matter what. Sure, squirrel, here's a, here's a cat for good measure. Not that we even really want that right now. That should do it. Cheater. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Okay. The monstrous grizzly. Its form speaks enough of its efficiency. Elk. The flighty elk. It moves after attacking. The end of the owner's turn. A card with this sigil will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil another wolf. Um, why is there a mushroom here? I feel like that might be something. Why would that mushroom be there? What is that? This game is like, it makes me feel like I have to question everything. It's like, obviously I want, I would rather take one of the other ones, but I feel like that's a, that's on purpose. Okay, we know that that's the Sacrifice Shrine, which is cool, but... What do we got here? This is a different thing. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm uh, one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire. That will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. I mean, they're gonna eat it, aren't they? I mean, I'm pretty sure they're just gonna eat it. But like, let's... The fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it, another gnashed at their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. Okay, so hey, there was no, there was actually not a risk. I, I was, I was willing to risk it since we had so many wolves. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent, or I will tear you to shreds. Okay. What happens if I sacrificed the stoat? I wouldn't have wanted to, but what if I did? Mighty leap, car bearing the sigil, well block in opposing creature. Oh, okay, so we can got the grizzly coming. We really should probably block it. One in six, we could. Oh man, that's just it's weird. Like, do we do we need to put something up in order to block? I don't know, man. 
I'm worried that this, uh... We could also put down the squirrel just to block it. Try and be strategic that way. So we can chump block. That's not gonna... That's not gonna gain us any tempo. However, it does gain us the ability to get the first attack off on the grizzly. God, you are... Oh, wait. Oh, but then, yeah. Eh. Maybe, I mean, it's probably fine if he dies, I guess, right? Like, if I put it there, then we'll jump block the four. This seems like bonkers. I'll just say it sure for now. I hate that. Yeah, I can't stop these grizzlies. Yeah, there's just nothing I can do. Like, I can play the squirrel, but whatever I play, is this stuff is going to die. I mean, I feel like maybe that's on purpose. This spot, you sure? No, not really. Pretty sure you're going to die. What? A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. Oh, that's not going to help us at all. You can't sacrifice grand for your short. I mean, I figured as much. I'm just... There's no way I have a chance here. And there's no way I could have, right? You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity will maybe the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me a candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Okay. What if we could, like... Ooh. Oh my god. Don't like that. Where's the door? Oh. Bring it here. Now sit back down. Where's the table? What's happening here? Oh, wait, that's- I couldn't even see the table. Wait, what? Are we not- wait, are we just playing on the floor? Let me explain something to you. That was one of two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Ah, so maybe that was- I think that was kind of, like, on purpose. Because there's no way we had the ability to- to stop that, right? Am I- There's another fire. I mean, maybe, the, what if you, I, I want to go to the place we haven't been to before. Raven, 2-3, I want to actually take the grizzly this time if it's offered. The wolf, I, like, I shouldn't have done it. I just, I guess I just thought that mushroom might have meant something. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these scissors. A rock may get you out of a hard place. And a powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. That's tough. It's I'm gonna go with one of these. Look at him back there. <laughs> um. Boy, howdy. I'll go with the scissors. It seems very easy. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. Pliers. Oh. Right, I'll, go, I'll go. I'll go for that. A squirrel in a bottle. Like, that really does change the tempo. It's almost as good as an extra turn sometimes. Feeling overburdened with enough... With a with a full three items you carried on. I gotcha. This sure seems like a boss fight. Of sorts. What? The 
trees seem to close in around you as a chill must mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Hee-haw, t'was the prospector. Oh my god, that's so good. Terrifying, I hate it, but like, that's good. Okay, so you do two. Definitely getting the cat down early sounds like incredible. Can you actually move to the right? Two damage. Hmm. This is interesting. Like, do I wanna do I wanna accept the penalty so that I can get the attack on his? Like, do I just take the two damage? I think I'm fine with that. Cause we have we have good tempo set up now. Oh, the wolf cub. That's such a good spot for the wolf cub. Uh oh. All right. You know what? Let's take the squirrel card. We will do our sacrifice. Your son will be that sacrifice, uh, and we'll go for that. Hello, Wolfie. Getting that grizzly down is huge. Okay, so the cat's dead. I'm fine with taking one damage. That doesn't matter that much. Oh wait, oh wait, we take, we actually, we take three. I was fine with taking one damage. I was not fine, more gold for me. Oh, hello. Entirely understood. That, that was well-deserved death. Now what, though? Because there's some... You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you might may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. You can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Two costs from the Blood Wolf, okay. The other I will use the power and health. Oh. Okay. And then a card to extract the sigils. Oh! I never did ask your name. <laughs> let's just... Let's just go for that. There is now but one final matter, the portrait. You ready? You do not need to smile. Dear God. Here we go again. Another challenger. Wait, perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Oh. Hey there, buddy. Okay. So we'll, we'll be a little bit more stingy with our resources now. Uh... From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You, the, you will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. And that's instead of blood. That's that's huge. That makes a huge difference. What? Why couldn't you have given me this last time? Okay. Um, the thing is we can just drop down the squirrel as a blocker here. We could also sacrifice the stoat. That's maybe the other thing is if I, like, stop... If I stop protecting him, I need to know what happens again? I've never done it. What do you mean, mister? Then we get the opossum. That's like colossal swing. Bullfrog. 
can leap. One, two, and can leap. I don't really need to sacrifice right now. In fact, do we just win right now? No, we're so close. He's going to come in. He's going to get that attack. We got... Okay. We got our bullfrog out, though. Bullfrog. Get him, buddy. Boink. Yeah, simple enough. Wait, I thought that was it. I said simple enough. We're supposed to be done. Go. There we are. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Wha okay, so there's like an NPC or something that... Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Okay, why is that one mine? Also, I mean, too easy, right? There's got to be. Okay, somebody knows the. Somebody knows the code. Let us continue. Hmm. Okay, meager coyote, four bones. Rattler, six bones? With a cockroach. The unkillable cockroach who returns to your hand after dying. And then could be like a good way to generate. You know, I actually kind of like that. It does, it's kind of expensive. Four bones. You know, you're free to get up again to keep your blood flowing. I am no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. Allows me time to plan your next encounter, but do keep your hands off my possessions. Okay. So clearly there's something we can learn about that. What? What's going on here? What? Is that just the, is this the last thing that killed me? Hello. I can't do anything with that. I can touch it, but I can't do anything with it. Hi. You can't use that right now. Why? My delete. That's the book. Gotcha. Yeah, I can't do anything with those, but I can, like... I can dink around with them. Okay. I have touched the possessions like I was not supposed to do. Give me another squirrel in a bottle, baby. I'm a squirrel in a bottle, baby. <laughs> you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. All right, here's a tip. I saw a past victim. Writing a passcode in the rule book. Oh, oh my god! C-273. Get your hand off the table. Stop it. Put down... Okay, so what is that? It's a wolf cub. Is it going to turn into the three? Is it... Is it what he's going to play, but not what he's played? You know what I'm saying? Like... Is the stoat fine? Okay. <laughs> okay. So we should be able to kill, right? Like, theoretically. What's that? It's an alpha. Leader. Creatures adjacent to a card. Bearing the sigil gain one power. Not that big of a deal right now.
I don't really want to put the bullfrog down because... Wait, no, he doesn't have flight. He just has the ability to stop somebody who does fly. And he only does one damage, so... It's fine. We'll be able to block it. All good, all good. And then I can put down the squirrel, and I can actually use the bullfrog as a sacrifice. There we go. Now we're thinking with portals. And that this should be it. Like, we should be done. Do we have four bones? They go away at the end of the time, anyway. The time. The turn. Oof. Overkill. Big overkill. Alright, let's, uh... 273. He's gonna be mad. Stink bug. Oh, hello! I wasn't sure if I would ever escape. That iron crypt is... There's, that's the stone around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. We're gonna get a jump scare, aren't we? Put that away. Okay, I got a key. Which is that for the door? Or is it for... That? Hi. What? I'm confused. Oh, it's like a it's like a puzzle we're supposed to It's just we're supposed to do 5 damage. Yeah, got the skink. Forgot that I had put that in there. In there, very well. You may add it to your deck, and I'll deal you one every so often. Okay, I mean that's not too big of a deal. All right, so yeah, it's like a little bit of a puzzle. So I'm assuming that this is going to be required because that's kind of. I don't remember what that symbol does. So three. One, two, three, four. Flies over. It's fine. I mean, it should be good, right? Wait. I guess I don't know what this thing does. Can't move it down. Yeah, that that's un unmovable. So this flies... Oh, that doesn't have... Oh, that has flying leap that, that grabs it. Ah, again, I keep on miss getting that messed up. We can't, like, move it sideways or anything, can we? I mean, there really is no... This is a zero-sum game over there. How are we only doing one, though? Are we supposed to... Oh, is it supposed to be... As long as either side does five? Like... I don't know. One, two... Like... No, we we the bottom the bottom does need to be the one that does five. I don't know what this thing is. And whatever it is doesn't seem to be able to move, so I'm curious. I don't know why this would be any better. Are we missing a piece? Is that a thing that could be the case? Like, we don't want... Why would we want it to be in our hand? We wouldn't. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing... Because there's not really any other option for this left one, which really seems to be the big thing. And I don't know what the deal is with that. Like, the fact that we can't... Um... The fact that we can't move them any way but vertical has me wondering if we are just straight up missing a piece or if we like could somehow I mean like that cool hip hip hooray so yeah may maybe we are missing a piece or something maybe maybe not maybe there's something in the rule book hmm 
Okay. Mirror. Bell ring. Wait. You've been... Refer to this by... Wait, refer... Represented by this... Value represent... I don't know, man. I don't know if that's anything of value. Minor boon of the born lord. I feel like we, uh... Maybe saw the only thing that we're supposed to see for now from here. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. 273, that's the one we got, yeah. Alright, let's play, let's move on. Move back to the card game for a second. Raven Egg. A <laughs> nascent raven. No less conniving in its incubation. Okay. It me! Alright. Okay, so this is the thing we take the the choice is yours. What is your passive? Stinky, the creature opposing a card bearing this sigil loses one power. What is that? Loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, the tail is created in its place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Sure. I'll go. Marvelous. Wait, so does it replace the sigil? It might replace it, so let's go with the wolf who now has the eyes of the <laughs> of the skink. Okay, up I go. you again. Indeed! Our friend our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in deep this time. Okay, so those are coming out. We can, can handle them with a um, with the stoat pretty easy. Total misplay. Thanks, comment section. We'll be able to block that, and then we'll be able to do an attack as well, so... Like, there's nothing we can do to stop that one. Get your hand off the table. Like, we could use the squirrel and cheat, basically. To do what? I There's nothing I can... I, well, I could then sacrifice it for... No, I couldn't sacrifice it. Oh my god, a second one's coming out there. The thing is, I can't sacrifice. Because these both require bones. So I almost need to do this and then get a... Um, use the squirrel in the bottle. Ah, Get off it, dude! What? Why? I'm going to use the squirrel in the bottle for a completely different reason then. Fine, we'll just do it like that. As a, uh, as a chump blocker. Okay. We got bones on bones now. Three bones. I guess I'll take a, another squirrel. Yeah, the cockroach needs four. That's a little too gnarly for me right now. And then we'll drop down the squirrel to get more bones. We should get two bones. Or one bone after this. So we have to two. Hello. It's me. do that. Back in the game! I could just sacrifice him immediately to summon myself. I feel like I'm fine with that. I'm fine with this outcome. We'll get the squirrel down there. Oh, I concede. What? You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish this match the slow way. Extending an olive branch, quite literally. Mm -hmm. 
What say you? Oh, interesting. Oh, so it, I thought that there was a catch. There was no catch, I guess. Uh, is there any other clue? Can't alter my deck. Interesting. I don't know. Just, I wouldn't put it past this game to have some kind of like... Like, could we take this? Hi. That one's only for card dueling. I was wondering though, yeah, maybe there's a world where we could have like, you know, picked up a, one of our scissors that we got for the item in the game and use it to cut, what, like, cut a wire or something. This is really the only, like, axis of interaction that I feel like there actually really could be something for. Here, what, like, what's this about? I can't do anything with that. Wolf Cub Squirrel. Is it, is this just like, if I do this, maybe if I do this in a game, something will happen? You know what I'm saying? Like that's my that's my second lead right now. I mean, the other thing is if I did like two, seven, three, like I don't know, two. Which one's longer? Oops. Ah. I doubt. I doubt this is anything. No dice. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to find something else there. Pretty sure. What's that C about? Oh, it's just this. It's it's actually like just sh straight up showing me it's a safe. Gotcha. The venerable Alpha. Its courage emboldens the creatures that stand beside it. The Raven, Elk Fawn, the nascent fawn, it quickly grows into an elk. I do like the idea of more cards that um, are cheap and kind of intended to be sacrificed. We have three items, I think, don't we? No, we only have two. Just a fire we can embolden. Embolden. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this so that I can... Like, I, I want to go up to whatever that symbol is that I'm not aware of. Uh, I want to sacrifice... I'm going to sacrifice the cockroach. It's kind of expensive. It's me. Uh, like, the fact that it could go back in our hand, I feel like that's... If I... I just don't know if they can have two sigils. <laughs> yeah? All right. I've got to know what this is. Is this just... Oh, is it an elite? It is an elite. Gotcha. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. Only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. So he has the ability to catch off flying. I mean, I, I don't really care about that. That's too, not too big of a deal to me. We can't stop that flight with anything we have, I don't think. So that's going to be gnarly. Drop down the squirrel shore. Fine. Fine. <laughs> It's not it's not great. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's gonna be good. I'll take the one damage and then we block this. Stop that. Alright, so we have the elk fawn who is not really that good on its own. We can cannot stop the sparrow. 
We can't stop the bat. We got problems. I don't even really want to put down the scroll over here because then we have problems there as well. Are you going to turn into... You'll turn into the fawn. Okay. So we have the stink bug. We'll drop it down. We'll do a little bit of action that way. It's not great. I don't like this. So here... Are we just going to die right away here? Like, we'll attack this. It's going to do nothing. You'll attack that. You'll do... Like... Am I... Am I crazy, or are you supposed to have two attack? And then it'll take one, two, three. I think we have to do this. Ugh. Okay. Send it. Not good. Jesus, dude! All right, there's one life down. This is brutal. How disappointing. All right. Yeah, that elite was not something we could handle right now. Lesson learned again. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Oh, interesting. I don't have any three costs. The regal moose, the creatures of the wild, make way for it. Random cost with the card of three, what were you expecting? I mean, no, I'm fine with that. It works for me. Uh, I want items to cheat. I like the idea of a scissors. It feels like it's gonna be kind of a, yeah. I feel like, I feel like just getting the scissors in there is probably gonna be all that we really want. It'll solve it for us, I think. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Yep, yep, yep. Towards the prospector. Hee haw. <laughs> He's doing the prospector again? Easy boss. The mule's key. The mule is key. Gotcha. Thank you. The end of this, the owner's turn, the card bearing the sigil will move in the direction. What? Okay, so we'll drop down a squirrel. Stoat goes here. Keep me alive. I'm gonna try, but you got the ability to come back. I could squirrel in a bottle. Let's save it. I don't, maybe there's something after. I can, I'm more willing to just, like, you know, cheat and grab. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shoot. Actually, fine. Moose buck. do anything with that. Is it when you die normally? When it perishes, create a copy of its card in your hand. <laughs> Prospector boss again. Okay. Um, doing that so that we could get enough for the stink bug. Is that not... What's up with the pack? What, what do you mean? Creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. Ah! Ah! For some reason, I thought it was going to be like a poison, like a damage over time uh, kind of... Gotcha. That makes more sense. But I kind of want to get down the moose buck. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move the direction described in the sigil... Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Gotcha. Uh, do I need to do any kind of cheating yet? I don't think so. so. This is fine. I like that. And then the bullfrog will die, though. At the same time... Yeah, we'll put down this... Squirrel, and we'll put down the stoke. Sure. We need to gener we could generate some extra bones that way. You sure? Yeah, kinda. 
The stink bug is in a bad spot. Not, not, not a good call on that one. I misunderstood. Ooh, we got a problem right here. Okay, at the... Stop, wait. Ah! Which way do you move? You move to the right? At the end of the owner's turn, it will move in the direction... Yeah. Okay, good. We want that. Let's do it. Going in. Easy boss, just pop that mule. I mean... It seems like the least of my concerns right now. Do we really want to listen to them? They lost. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bad play. I, I think that that's the thing. I think that actually might be a thing. Like, why would I care about popping the mule? The might of the moose cannot be halted. Do we have bones? I have a lot of bones. Please drop. Oh, it's me. The end of the owner's turn. So not this turn. I don't really think I need to do anything here. We just win, don't we? I hope you didn't think it'd be that easy. There's gold in them cards. Boss time, eh? Oh, jeez. Gold! I've struck gold! What? Okay. That's, um, not great. I can't sacrifice the gold, can I? No. Ooh, that sucks. Okay. can't do anything with the golden nuggets. I could... I don't feel like I need to cut a card yet. Get him! It's fine. I kind of wanted that there. You can do the squirrel sacrifice into summon Rito. Oh, that's funny. We give him, we give him that and he just keeps coming back. So hold on. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Oh! When opposing creatures place opposite to an empty space, card bearing the sigil will move to the empty space. That's really cool. And uh, I accidentally made a good play, I think, as a result. Well, kind of. Not really. No, yeah, 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 I did. Totally. Yeah, totally. I meant that. Did we just win here? I think we just win here. Bone card, please. We got one. Not that we can do anything with it. I mean, I think we just win here. Yeah, like, unbelievably easily. That The Rito card is just broken. Memory card is full. What is this strange feeling? Hey there, card gamers. Oh my god. October 19th. We've done it. We've done it. I, fi I mean, I figured as much. I figured that was going to be the whole demo there. I wish I could get up and walk around a little bit. <laughs> oh my god, he just forced closed the game. It's straight up just forced closed the game. Anyway, that, uh, that's been Inscription. Um, right there. 
the demo of that is all completed now. We'll probably check that out again October 19th. Get a good old spooky season Halloween story kind of a game going on. Uh, I really dig it. It's interesting. It's uh, There's clearly, like, based off of the trailer there, I was right in the sense that it pulls a full, like, Pony Island kind of a thing where it's 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 playing with, like, a lot of different genres, clearly. And I'm excited to see what the hell all of that is all about as well, in addition to the uh, the deepening of the game mechanics. I'm incredibly titillated and interested in what is going to be uh, coming out with Inscription on the 19th. So, you know what? That's that. I feel weird just doing this outro to my desktop. That's the thing. Is <laughs> You know, that feels weird. I'm just going to open the game back up and get the, the, the screen. Hell, maybe there's an Easter egg. And by that, I mean, no, definitely not. Uh, but yeah, that's been Inscription. Thank you for watching. My name is Retromation. I put out videos on indie games every single day, especially specializing in roguelikes. So if that is the kind of genre you're into and you do not want to miss any great new indies coming out, please do yourself a favor. Do a little bit of a subscribe. If you want more Inscription when uh, this comes out on the 19th, let me know with a like and a comment. Those are genuinely the things to do. If you want to... Uh, <laughs> say that you want more like really that's that tells the algorithm to send it to more people and thus makes it more clear that people want to see it that's really just it thank you thank you wish list this game link at the top of the description it helps out the developers a whole bunch lets them know that you're excited and helps share the game with the steam algorithm a lot of algorithm talk here i'm boring i'm sure but yeah if you like this game wish list it even if you're like i'm i'm gonna buy it why would i wish list it it doesn't matter. You are extra the person who should wish, wish list it then. It helps them out a whole bunch because then it converts into sales, everything like It's just, if you like it, wish list it. Thank you, thank you. Check the channel over some more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!